get ready to dress for success. <laughs> yes, sir, guys, it's all the style rules that every man should know. Wait, specific shoes for certain colored suits? Six ways to tie a scarf? There are rules to men's fashions? <laughs> well, yeah, if you want to be a truly stylish gentleman, no matter what the occasion. Listen up, fellas. Here we go, a real gentleman suit. The main thing that every man needs to know is that it's not enough just to buy a suit. You have to be able to wear it properly. So let's pay attention to several important details. Jackets can be pretty tricky, and there are actually specific rules regarding buttons. It's fine to sometimes button the top button, but the bottom one must always be left undone. As for the middle button, it should be fastened at all times. If you're getting a single-breasted suit, which is the most common type, it can be any color. But with double-breasted suits, try to avoid bright colors and always keep the jacket buttoned up, even when you're sitting down. Don't forget about your handkerchief. Here's the correct way to fold it. How to make sure a suit fits you properly. The main thing is to avoid getting the wrong size. Make sure the suit isn't too small or too big. The jacket sleeves shouldn't reveal too much of your shirt cuffs or cover up too much of your hand. You definitely don't want the suit pants to be high waters, but they shouldn't be so long as they bunch up over your shoes. Shirt and tie When choosing your outfit, always start with the shirt, not the tie. Start by picking a main color for your shirt. There's an important rule here. The main color of the tie should contrast with the shirt, and the secondary color should complete it. It's also a good idea to combine different kinds of fabrics and patterns. As for tying the perfect knot, here's how you do it. Some practical advice. Never push your sleeves up so it looks like you're wearing an accordion on each arm. Roll your cuffs up correctly and elegantly like this. Pants. Now pants can make or break your look. So you need to be especially careful when choosing them. They come in different lengths. Full break, half break, quarter break, and no break. Hey, how about spring break? Well, it's up to you to choose one to your liking. Shoes. Your shoes should be chosen according to the color and style of your suit. A black suit can only be worn with black shoes. If your suit is navy blue, choose black, brown, or burgundy dress shoes. A dark gray suit is perfectly complemented with black or burgundy shoes. As for light gray suits, go for black, light brown, or burgundy shoes. A cream-colored or beige suit looks good with light brown or white shoes. How to choose the right shoes for any occasion If you need dress shoes for work or business meetings, pick Oxford or Derby shoes. Loafers look nice as well. When you need casual shoes for socializing and going out with your buddies, moccasins, two-tones, leather boots, loafers, or sandals are both stylish and comfortable. Just choose one depending on the weather. Chucks and sneakers are a good choice for everyday use. Go for special athletic types if you're working out or playing some sport. Boots come in a variety of styles. Some of them are made for hiking, others are better for work, and some types are just meant to look cool. Yeah! Socks Every stylish man knows the importance of choosing the right color socks. 
For example, white socks can only go with athletic shoes. Thin, monotone socks are for dress shoes. And a true gentleman knows that the color of your dress socks should match your suit pants. If you're wearing shorts, you can only put socks on if you're going to the gym. Try to avoid any wacky prints, or at least if you're leaving the house. And finally, always keep an extra pair of new socks at home. Clothes you can never go wrong with. If you're not sure what to put on, you can't go wrong with a dress shirt and a v-neck sweater. They look good on anybody. You can also spice it up and change the color combinations every day. Speaking of color combos… Acceptable color combinations There are certain colors that complement each other nicely. Others will clash and look tacky. Now, you can never go wrong with white as the main color of your outfit. Both light and dark tones will go with it. As for other colors, combine them as follows. Beige – with black, brown, red, or green. Sky blue – with brown, dark green, dark purple, red, and beige. Pink – with purple, beige, sky blue, and navy blue. Yellow – with black, brown, sky blue, and navy blue. Orange – really? Orange – with white, yellow, black, and dark green. Black – with white, beige, and other light tones, but not pastels. Brown – with white, beige, black, red, and dark green. Navy blue – with white, beige, yellow, red, and green. Dark green – with white, beige, sky blue, yellow, navy blue, and black. Red – with white, beige, sky blue, navy blue, black, and brown. Purple – with white, beige, sky blue, pink, blue, and brown. Here's garments that are best avoided. Tight jeans can make your legs look too skinny. Baggy t-shirts always look sloppy. Shirts with a deep v-neck will give you a giraffe neck. If you're a size 10 or bigger, steer clear of chucks. You might look clownish. Now here's 6 ways to tie a scarf. Really? Who knew there were so many stylish ways to tie a scarf? The city slicker. The sophisticate. The ivy leaguer. The professor. The Artist The Weekender Hairstyles A proper gentleman chooses his hairstyle according to his face shape. If you have a round face, keep most of the volume on top. Those with a square face should choose classic neat haircuts with short layers and a side part. A rectangular face shape looks good with well-proportioned hairstyles. There shouldn't be too much hair on top and not too short on the sides. Diamond-shaped faces will look best when surrounded by mid-length hair swept to the side. Men with triangular faces should opt for longer styles with messy bangs. An oval face will look best if the hair is kept off the forehead and with more volume on top. As for popular hairstyles nowadays, you can try an undercut. The sides and nape of the neck are completely shaved, and the hair on top is longer and combed back. This cut suits any hair type. A man bun. Ah, the style that shattered gender stereotypes about who can and who can't wear a ponytail. All the hair is tied up on the back of the head. A top knot. It's a little hard to pull this one off, but if you can manage to, it always looks stylish. 
a fade. You can probably guess by the name. The hair here is longer on top and slowly fades and gets shorter the closer you get to the neck. Or you can never go wrong with the classics. A side part. This style is timeless. The hair is combed smoothly to the side. A pompadour. Here the hair is brushed back from the forehead and stands up slightly. The temples and the back of the head should be shaved short. A crew cut. This is a gradual transition from longer hair on top to shorter hair on the nape and temples. So, are you feeling styling now? Do you know any other secrets to men's style? Let us know in the comments below. Share this video with your friends and remember to hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel, we have tons of videos about everything you want to know on the Bright Side of Life.